Hey folks, uh, welcome to another one of Arbiter's Gary's Mod Tutorials. Um, I'm aware I haven't done this in a very long time. Um, been really busy and I don't really have much time for this game anymore. But you know, if someone leaves me a request, as someone has today, I'm quite happy to pick it up in my spare time. It's just that I don't really play anymore to get new, uh, new ideas to put out for you. So please leave a request. I can do it for you, but I won't be putting out anything new, really, because I don't really play this game anymore. <clears throat> So, the request today is, can you make a tutorial on how to dial a Stargate with a wire keyboard and have a screen show the address you are trying to dial? Uh, yes, I think I can do that, and if I can't, you know, at least it gives me a reason to play. Um, so I'll get right on that, Destruction 101. Um, I also have, to address this, My Left Ear Feel Lonely, which is a comment on one of my previous videos that the first 10 or 12 I did, there was no sound on the left channel. And that's uh, that's my fault for having such a poor sound system. Um, to re to fix that, I would have to take down then re-upload all my videos, and that would take a hell of a lot of time. So I'm thinking, just leaving them the way it is is the best course of action. So sorry about that, but you're gonna have to deal with it. But it's been fixed now. Um, I'm trying today to do this in a high HD resolution. So when I upload it to YouTube, it should look a lot better than it does normally. And so let's get on with things. Okay guys, so we're on the map now. I've got myself a little desk and a star gate and there's a mobile DHD powering it up. I'm gonna call this uh, gate one two because for some reason you're not allowed to use zeros anymore. Um, so we have mobile DHD and this button will stop any gate activity that's coming in, but this is all this is all relevant. Um, so first thing you wanna do, learn how to use the wired keyboard. Now, this is a very simple tool, really. Um, it's input, there's only one input, kick bastard out of the keyboard, which is basically if you're on a multiplayer, someone's using your keyboard, you want to get them out, press a button, they'll uh, they'll stop using it. If you want to use it, you press E, or whatever your use key is, and then you can type whatever you want, obviously nothing's happening because nothing's been wired up yet, and that's that. You press Alt to exit, as it tells you in the taskbar. So, unfortunately, it isn't as simple thing to use that it just sends whatever ca whatever character you press and I'm going to show you this now with its outputs. If we look at the keyboard outputs we have memory, uh, user entity which will output what uh, who is using the keyboard and in use which will output whether or not the keyboard is being used. So what we're mainly going to be looking at is memory. Now what memory is, if I show you, you see, I'm pressing the D button there, and it says value 100. If I was to press C, it's 99. B, 98. A, 97. That each character you press on your keyboard has a corresponding numeric value, and that's because of the ASCII table, where basically each character you would press on your keyboard has a value. For example, if I was to press Enter, it's character 13. So that's basically what we use. Um, obviously, we need a way to convert what we type in that is a numeric value to convert into a string that the Stargate will understand. Now, the Stargate has its own little function which is dial string. And when you wire that up to a valid string, it will immediately dial the Stargate. Now we don't really want it to dial immediately. We all, we, we're gonna, you know, have a dial when we press a button or something. So for now, we're gonna wire this expression up um, so that it converts whatever you press on the wired keyboard into the character that it represents <clears throat> and then accumulates those characters into a word. So I'm going to get rid of that screen and maybe put it over there. So I'm going to need one later. And I'm going to spawn a text screen which is in display. And there's our text screen. <clears throat> so the first thing you want to do is when we go to expression we're going to want to wire a new expression. And this is going to be called um, Stargate uh, dial whatever. Our inputs are the memory from the keyboard for now and we're going to ignore outputs and persist and we're going to have memory as our trigger. So the first thing we're going to do is convert <coughs> um, our memory input into a character because obviously it's already a numeric value. So we're going to introduce a persist value and we're going to call it character. And this character 
is a string variable type. Now, I do have another tutorial on variable types. If you don't know what that is, look it up. So, character is equal to to char memory. Now, that is an internal expression to function that basically takes in a numerical value and converts it to the equivalent um, alphabetic value. So if we just uh, leave that for now, and we're going to write our first output, which is uh, address, which is obviously what we want, and that is also a string variable type, we're going to say that address is equal to character. And if we validate that, um, memory does not exist. Of course I spelled memory wrong. Yep, validation successful. Uh, we're going to call this SG dial, save it, spawn it, and use it. And this is just the first basis of what we're doing. We just wire things up. Um, and it goes to there. If we just type something, this didn't work. Oh, of course. So. Right. H. There we go. While I'm holding the H key, it's coming out as H. It's removing when I'm not pressing it. Or I C, it's coming out as that. S, blah, 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 blah. But obviously, it's not recording anything, which is a problem. So, we need a way to remember what we've already typed. Now, that's a really simple trick to do. If we just refresh this, uh, it's SG dial, all we need to do is instead of saying that address equals character, in that line, we are overwriting what address already is holding. So, we just need to remember to keep it. So, we have address plus character. And if we save that and use it, use this there we go it's remembered everything we've said which is fantastic so we need to move on with things I'm sorry if I'm rushing you I have uh, about 20 minutes before I need to get ready for work and uh, it's like the third time I've done this so I really need to hurry things along I'm gonna use a clear button that's a cake button well cake will have to do so I'm just gonna put a cake button down here and what I want to do is I want to sh if I'll show you if you press the backspace key it, it doesn't actually use backspace, it just inputs the numeric value for backspace, which is no good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to input a new vet input called clear, add it to trigger, and just say that if clear, if clear is equal to 1, remember that you have to use double uh, equal signs if you're doing a comparison, and say that um, address is equal to nothing after that because of it. So if we validate that, it should work. Oh god, I've done You remember to use curly brackets and not the uh, the regular ones. There we go, validation successful. Save and exit. Update. Wire up the clear button. And then if we type something in and clear it, it disappears. And that's a way to clear our screen because we can't use the backspace key. Um, there probably is a way to do it, but this is much easier to explain. Right, next thing we're going to want to do is have a way to dial the Stargate when we have... No, that's not what we're going to do. The next, the next thing we're going to do is make sure that we can't type in an invalid address. Now what we're going to do for this is we're going to add in another persist character and call this length. Now what length is going to do is calculate the length of our Stargate address. And if it's longer than it's supposed to be, if it's longer than six characters, if length is greater than six, which obviously a Stargate address can't be six, then set address to be, well, say, invalid. And obviously that's going to stop our Stargate address from being too big. To calculate the length of a string, all we have to do is say that length is equal to address colon um, length. You can see there. It can't, the description gets the length of the vector. No, that's not what we want. We want length. It's not a vector, but it should still work. So save and validate. Invalid character. Oh, didn't put extra. Validation successful. Okay, and now if we press, uh, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. If we type in another character, it says it's invalid, which is exactly what we want. And we have to clear it before we can use it again. Okay, all, all I've done on that little uh, interlude there is moved clear to be underneath length because what it was doing, obviously everything runs sequentially, so if the clear button was pressed, it was still uh, calculating this as invalid, 
it was sold so it was just overwrite itself so just oops just make sure that the clear button is always on the very bottom line and that should stop any problems okay our next test our next uh, step is to dial the stargate now what we're going to do is we're going to have another if statement here and it's going to have a lot of things to run now what i want to do instead of having a button i'm going to be a bit sneaky and i'm going to use the n key to dial the stargate now if you just have a look at this we'll wire up this up again to memory when we're using the keyboard if we press enter it's equal to value 13 um, on both enter keys obviously for numpad so oh christ why did i do that so cake cake and clear so what we're going to do is we're going to have an if statement saying that if the button that's been entered if, if the button pressed is 13 if it's enter to dial the stargate and that's going to be our last step so we're going to say um if um memory equals 13 we should probably put this first actually up here if memory equals 13 and we're going to use an and here and length is equal to 6 because obviously we want a valid stargate address to be being inputted so that's our line there then what we're going to do is just say that um, we need to force our stargate address to be uppercase and I know that's a weird uh, kind of thing. Oh crap. What we're going to need to do is we're going to need to have a, a final kind of output that's going to hold our last Stargate address. So we're going to add another thing which is going to be final address and that's also going to be a string. I know we already have address here but that's purely just for showing what's being inputted on the screen. It's not actually going to go to the Stargate. This one is. So we're going to have a final address equals um, address but one problem with this is that stargates can only read in uppercase strings if we were to just type in spawn one and it would just be a normal spawn like a, a lowercase s it needs to be capitals all the way through or the stargate won't read it so what we do is we force it to be uppercase by saying upper there we use upper bracket bracket and it forces the string to be uppercase and that's all we need to do there so if we validate this yep that's valid and save it we should be able to dial our stargate we're on a, i'm going to add another line here that says else uh final address equals um nothing just so it doesn't mess up any stargate and save that validate it that all works so this should be uh this should be all we need really if we replace this and wire it up to our stargate dial address string to final address you can see the stargate's not doing anything that's a good start and there's one more thing i've forgotten and that's to set a number to the dial mode because for some reason if you don't specify this the stargate dials really slowly but that should be obvious anyway so uh, okay so now if i type this um spawn one press enter our stargate dialing should with any luck oh yes dial straight over there now one of the problems that you've got with this is that when you press enter it counts as an inputted character so whatever you type is going to uh go into there so if we just edit our little string just a little bit in expression two to dial and just say that um, when you find when you dial the final address just to set address as dialing and that should hopefully give you a nice little aesthetic nice finish on this spawn one press enter it's got to invalid um yeah well that was gonna happen anyway wasn't it? at least at least this dialing computer works you know it's not like you could of course change this compute this this all together and say that instead of when the enter key is pressed which is this line here 
is to just say when a button's pressed, just add in another variable here. I'm just doing this because it saves me having to spawn buttons and do everything else. But this is how you dial a Stargate with a wired keyboard. And, you know, get some requests in. Um, if, you, if you're wondering, if you're interested in what I've been up to lately, I've been, you know, working on a Minecraft um, channel with a few of my friends. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description, but don't feel obliged to just because you love me, which I assure you all do. So uh, get some requests in. I'll happily do it, but don't expect new work from me because I don't really have any ideas of what to do. Until next time, though, I'll see you later, and good luck.